themselves to think they're right. Still, three years later, shit. It's like, you know, I, I intended to have a good, peaceful conversation, but the thing with Polly is, and Huck, and Sweet, that group of people, is that they want me to take responsibility for shit that I say on here, right? Things that hurt them, their feelings. It's like, but then their friends will say something to me like, say to me like I should kill myself or I should die or drink some fucking Clorox or whatever the fuck like that. And I never see their friends ever being held accountable. Ever. Not once. No, ever, ever, ever. Not once. But someone like me, I'll get hit with all this fucking hate, all this blame for the dumbest small shit. Where it's just like someone can just apologize for it in their community and they'll be done with it. With me, it's like they'll hold it against me for years. I swear. Shame on you, Magic. Shame on you. You know, because Crafty Cat, what about my time in need? Remember when I needed bottled water and she said, hey, why don't you just boil it, Rebel? You know, just to fucking make me look stupid. But at a time where she's going through hardships in her life and I'm supposed to feel bad, you know, it's like that's... That's cute. When all, and I'm not even mad at her. That's the thing. I'm not even so much mad at her. I'm mad at you guys for treating her different than you treat me in the same kind of fucked up situation. Like, I'd be in a situation where my life is being affected, where I have really, you know, fucked up shit going on. And you guys have never treated me like that. You never, you know, cared enough to come over there, come over here and say, Rebel, how are you doing? You know, oh, my God, I heard you're, you know, why aren't you responding, Rebel? Why, what's wrong? You know, something. You guys left me here for in an echo chamber for almost over two years. You didn't give two shits. That's the thing. Like sometimes you come over, but then you treat me different. You treat me like I'm some somehow some weird alien that you know. Sometimes he complies. Sometimes he doesn't. This is a day where we have to ignore him. This is the day where we don't. He's not a human being today. We have to ignore him. Some days all I wanted was just a hello or acknowledgement. And I wouldn't have even gone off at all. But because you guys chose to not come over there, expecting me to go off for some stupid shit, and because I take notice of it, guess what? It would piss me off even more. Then you just caused a chain reaction of me going off even more because I acknowledge that you were more than willing to shut me out just to try to teach me a lesson, you know? And did that make anything better? No. Did it help anything? No. Did you teach me a lesson? No. You just made me worse. That's it. And then you made me feel like I should be guilty for any little thing. You put this guilt trip on me for years on end, all of you. You know, and I, I bet you don't even know most of the reasons why you're even pissed off in the first place. Most of you probably just, you know, you're holding anything and everything against me at this point. See, right here, too. You wish me death several times. Like, you even count? The fact that you even count it proves that you're sick. Like, you're sick in the head. Instead of actually looking at it in a different perspective, and you're more thinking about the things that I said on YouTube instead of me. What's up, Alex V? Sorry, I wasn't talking shit about you. I mean, maybe I sounded like I was, but I wasn't really, though. Now, oh, that does bother me, Magic, the fact that you even have to count. Like, if you were really there as a friend for me, you would be more concerned about what's going on with me and why I like why would I even be reacting like that more than you be more than willing to hold me accountable and hate me for it for the things that I just simply merely said when I didn't even mean what I said I probably was more or less upset about something else and because you took it out of context and made it about you that's what I hate you guys for you're sick you have no empathy because you uh, if you had empathy I'd had to have empathy for you but that's the thing. You forgot to have empathy for me in the same way that you would have Crafty Cat, the same way you would have Huckleberry, the same way you would have Sweet as Sugar. If you had the same empathy for me like you did them, you would have always been here. You would have always had supported me, and I would have never gotten to the point where I would have told more people to off themselves. But because you guys wanted to keep playing this fucking game to try to discipline me the way you guys did, you just made things worse. You assume that I just hate people. You assume I have a terrible spirit. You assume I have a terrible heart. So what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to then react the same way you guys assume me to react. Because at that point, you don't even have any faith in me. Of course I'm going to react bad. You guys just basically told me that I'm worthless. I can't get better. I can't ever change. 
do you think that's ever going to tell someone to move forward and do better when you're just encouraging them if more or less to quit? If anything, you're just telling me more or less to quit living, quit existing. Don't try to improve your life. Sit there. Get worse. We won't support you because there's no changing you, chooch. Thump, thump. Donate to him. It'll only make it worse. Donate to a charity. Chooch. Right? Uh. No, because you hold things against people. You think you're better than people. When it really comes down to it, you think you're better than people. You don't help people because you care about wanting to help people. You help people because you want to make yourself feel feel better so that you can make people like this feel better for saying what they say about me. And see how what you say about me only encourages people to say things like this about me? You see how it just has a backlash, kind of like a, um, like a butterfly effect? You know, basically by you pretending to care or wanting to care, basically you only cause more people to do this. Because then when you tell people that I cannot change, that I cannot improve, that I cannot get better, no, I have apologized to you. And you're lying when you say I haven't ap- apologized to you either. But when you tell people that I can't get better, I can't, I can't improve, you're just making people like this, encouraging more people like this to say things like this. That's it. You know, it's like, you know, okay, you might think you didn't get your apology, but was it worth this? Did I deserve this, though? You know, I don't think so. I don't. And you guys left me here to deal with people like this, shit like this, for over two years now because of things that I said. Not because of things that I necessarily done, but because of what I said. And I did apologize. I do remember apologizing many a times, but, you know, the problem with you ladies from that side, from that sector, is, like, one apology just isn't good enough. You need, like, an apology for everything that I said I ever said wrong. But someone like Trumpy, who can come in here and threaten to murder me, I never seen you go at him and ask him for an apology for threatening to murder me and drink Clorox or uh, house cleaner or something, you know. And that's the problem there. It's like you're more than willing to try to hold me accountable for the itty bitty little fucking stupid shit that I say. But then when you know your friend Trumpy, just a drunk, you know, says something inciting murder to me. And somehow you guys will never hold him accountable or ask him to apologize, nor do you even think that he even needs to give one. It's not even the fact that he wouldn't give one. It's the fact that you guys don't even think that he even has to. Like, you don't even bring it up. Like, it doesn't even count for you guys. But for me, it does. And that's a problem. Because that's selective outrage. Whether you like it or not, you basically still allowed more people like this to get away with doing this shit. But because of my lack of empathy, I guess I deserve it, though, right? Because I don't care about people, though, right? It's not like I've ever done anything for anyone. I'm only the only one who ever refused $500 from someone to keep someone's wrench so that it wasn't taken from my chat. I'm the only one who ever refused $500 from, from Ross Khan so that I could keep Hostel's chat. And what did Hostel do? She fucked me over anyway. And I'm still the only person who's ever done anything like that in this entire community. But I get shit on for it. I, I'm told that I don't have any empathy. I, I'm told I don't give a fuck about people. Like, it's just like I've done more. I've sacrificed more of, of my comfort and stability for you motherfuckers than you even realize. You know, Magic, I apologize, okay? I apologize for what you want me to specifically apologize for because the other six apologies that I gave you prior just were not good enough, okay? I apologize. Does that make you feel better? Are you happy, okay?
Oh my god, Prime! Oh ho 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 ho! Yeah, right. But then Teresa can be fine with people calling my mom a cheese hog. It's just like, fuck out of here with her freaking News Now Houston supporting ass. Like, I just fuck out of here with that shit. And they act like she's St. Teresa. They act like she's from the fucking Holy Bible. She had an affair with a fucking showmo, okay? Get the fuck out of here trying to judge me about that shit. But then they're going to fucking not even give a shit when Andrew sends people to my home following my mom around and shit. Well, I'm not apologizing for that one because I don't think I have to. Why should I have to apologize for that when she has Richard Cheese as a wrench in the chat? When she has COVIDs back over there? She has people who literally want to fucking murder me hanging out in her fucking chat with wrenches and somehow they're her best friends, but I'm supposed to be nice to her. She was also really nice to black national freedom fighter. If I don't want to associate with someone who was nice with the fucking show mode, I have every right. Just like Quick Vic did, I have every right to not want to associate with Crafty Cat. I will not fuck with her. I'll leave her alone. Have fun with your friend. But I don't want to see her back here again and I have every right to not want to be a friend. She's crazy, okay? If she wants to go behind my back, fucking hang out at Richard Cheese's, when she's going through all these family issues and everything is so tough, blah, 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 then she wouldn't have even been there to begin with, okay? But if she could take shots at me when she's dealing with all these family issues, she can hang out in the chat restreaming me and shit, she knows how fucking, how, how I feel about that, and she still does it anyway, well, like, guess what? Fuck Crafty, and I have no reason to be nice to her. Who the hell is she to me? She's not my family member. She's not my sister. I don't know her. The fuck? Same thing with you, Magic. Don't act like you're special, because I really don't care anymore. Whether you support me or Huck, if you guys really hate me that much, I want you to get the fuck away from me. That's what I want. I want you to go over there, support Richard Cheese, and get the fuck away from me then. If that's really how it is, and you hate me that much, and you have to take this much out on me for fucking stupid YouTube fucking shit, then get the fuck out. I was supposed to time out that, oh yeah, I did. Put that much guilt trip on people, make them sick and shit, make them fucking lose sleep overnight. Like, like, make, you're, you, like you people are making me lose sleep, fucking up my fucking health, all this fucking shit, and you think it's a fucking stupid game. Like, you assholes think I... I deserve to give you an apology. Apologize to me for fucking up my life, you fucks. It's like, you know, they're gonna come talk shit like this till I'm in a fucking pine box. These motherfuckers won't even let me live my fucking life. Make me stay in one place forever. Just always fucking guilt tripping me till the day I fucking die. Fuck you. They don't see how it makes people worse. Like, you know, they think it's just all my fault. It's like, no, it's your fault. You guys keep doing this shit. I swear to God, fuck you for this. This and this alone. Like, this fucking guilt tripping you guys do. And I've been doing it for fucking years. Fuck you guys. How about fuck you for that? Like it's life or death or some shit. Like, oh my god, we can't move on with our lives until we put Connie on chat. Durr. Yeah, we're supposed to teach him a lesson. Connie didn't learn. He's gonna do this forever. We're just going to fucking poke sticks at the motherfucker nonstop, but he's going to get better, y'all. Poke, poke, poke. Connie, why aren't you getting better? Poke. Connie, get better, bitch. Poke, poke. Connie, you're supposed to get better, little bitch boy. Poke, little fair weed, fair bitch. 
poke, poke, poke. Yeah, that's going to make someone so much better. You know, they're going to get so much. Man, they learned their lesson. Poke, poke, poke. Oh, yeah, let's send people fucking to his house. Oh, yeah, let's send pizzas to oh, 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 oh. Poke. Oh, oh, oh. Let's call his mom nonstop. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, let's put his grandmother's image up there. Yeah, you should have learned, Connie. Oh, 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 oh. Poke, poke. You know, Swedish sugar. Connie, I'm going to teach you a lesson, Rebel. I'm going to play the video where you told me to off myself three years ago. And I'm going to put it on my channels. And so that you have to wait and sit every day of your life. Because it was a life and death situation. And if I actually wanted to, I could have done it. And I'm going to hold you accountable. For the rest of my fucking life. Just like, you know, as if like playing a video over and over again with me telling someone to go off themselves. is going to make me so much... Wow, it's going to make me better, y'all. I'm going to change oh my god look at myself saying that i'm gonna change now oh my god look at all that negativity i'm spreading me hearing my negative self will surely not make me more negative oh ho, ho. you know like what like if anything that just that pissed me off even more that's like pouring gasoline into a lit fucking wildfire uh in the middle of california it is one of the worst ideas that they could have ever thought of doing to try to teach me or anybody a lesson I think, you know, because of that and that alone, they can go fuck themselves, too. It's just like, how dare they think that that was a good way to teach me a fucking lesson and make me think that somehow, some way, that was going to make me better. That was what? The fuck, stupid fucking idiots. Who the fuck would ever think that that was a good idea? 